what is happening everybody it's the Miami Football Fanatic here again happy to have you guys back and in today's video uh, I just want to talk about Dolphins running back uh, Kenyon Drake um, and how good I think he can be during this coming 2018 season and beyond just projecting um, how much I think he's going to improve off his second year and just what kind of a running back he's going to be for the Dolphins and I truly think he's going to be a dominant one as you'll see uh, during the video and uh, with my commentary when the Dolphins drafted Kenyon Drake in the third round of the 2016 draft, we all knew he had impressive uh, game-breaking speed and playmaking ability, especially on special teams, which we saw, which we saw um, in the Alabama Championship game when he took a, a kick return back for a touchdown to eventually win the game for the Crimson Tide. Um, but the majority of fans, including myself, um, only saw him as an outside runner. And a guy that would work best um, when operating space. You know, I really didn't see him as a in between the tackles guy that could, um, you know, get it done as an all around running back. Um, never did I imagine him developing into the dynamic, explosive three down back that we saw in the second half of the 2017 season. He's a full package that we really all crave as a running back. We really saw, you know, him just do it all um, last season. What we saw from Drake um, was incredible during that time. And he was well and truly performing like one of the best in the league. One of the best backs in the league. Um, he led the league in rushing over the final uh, five weeks of the season. Um, he really was showing that he could do it, he could do it all as a running back. Um, he showed an ability to run between the tackles or on, on the outside. Um, you know, I really didn't think he had that kind of ability to, to just run through the tackles and make it happen. I mean, the guy is just, oh, his explosiveness really is breathtaking. Um, he showed us power as a runner that I did, I you know, didn't know he possessed at all. Uh, guys were bouncing off him like he was a 230 uh, plus pound back. Um, his yards after contact was in fact best in the league, which indicates you know how well he sh he sheds def off defenders. Um, any move you can think of to make um, defenders miss, Drake pulled off, and most importantly that incredible speed that got him drafted out of Alabama. Um, Kenyon officially. Ran a 4.440 at the combine, but it's obvious when it comes to game time, he takes that speed up a notch. I mean, he's just, yeah, his explosiveness is just off the charts. He just, he makes fast players look like uh, snails. Um, but what what makes him truly elite, like I said, is his, is his explosiveness. He moves like a much smaller back. Um, the way he jumps in, in and out of his cuts is just a marvel to watch and honestly reminds me a lot of Adrian Peterson. That's how, how, that's how dynamic he was looking out there, honestly, on the field. The way he was just, uh, you know, going through the tackles, boom, like making defenders miss on a dime, running over guys, and that explosive just to, like, just to, um, you know, cut the field and just, just like run upfield and just do whatever you want to defenders. It was just incredible. Um... The guy, he's got the physical makeup to be one of the best backs in the league for many years to come. If not, maybe the best. That's how much um, confidence I've got in this guy. And if he's given the chance to be the guy, which I think will happen this season, um, I think he really has a chance to be the best. But the praise doesn't stop there for Drake. The guy is, ju is just as impressive in the passing game. He does a great job getting open anywhere on the field. As you saw uh, when the Patriots came to town on Monday Night Football, um, he's a threat to make it happen, whichever whichever way he gets the ball. And he's got great hands. He's never a th he, like you know you're not worried about him dropping the ball like we were with JJ and just yeah Drake. Just another element of his game that just makes him an incredible running back, a dynamic running back. Um, Drake has also shown a great ability to pass block in his second year, using that power that we saw in the run game to stand his ground and win against linebackers that um, outweigh him by a large margin. He's Pass blocking, it really is test textbook for the position. He just does a tremendous job. But it's another surprising thing. I really didn't think he'd be a great pass blocker, but I saw multiple times last season him just like blowing up linebackers' safeties. Whoever was coming into his, into his vicinity, he was just doing oh, an incredible job, just blowing them up and just holding his ground and not um, letting them get any ground up to the quarterback. Now that we've seen what uh, Kenny can do, when he's a full-time starter, the question is how good um, he can be during this coming uh, 2018 season. Honestly, I, be I believe he'll be one of the best backs, like I've said. Um, having Frank Gore on the team will also only help him to become an even greater back. 
Um, with Gore being a future Hall of Famer, one of the best to do it uh, statistically, he'll be a tremendous uh, resource for um, Drake and uh, Callum Balazs. I expect him to come back a stronger player, like you know, much more physically stronger. Even though he was a force last season, I expect him to maybe come back, you know, maybe five pounds or so, um, you know, heavier, and just uh, yeah, bring in that hammer even more than he did last season. Um, and I expect him to be a guy that has an even greater grasp of the offense than he did last season. Uh, naturally, coming into his third year, I think he'll be he'll be much more confident and uh, comfortable as a player. You know, as we like, you know, we saw a similar thing. You know, with a, th- a third year player's progression with uh, Bobby McCain. Bobby McCain was just flawless in year three. He was just a, a tremendous um, slot corner, if if not the best. You know, Bob- Bobby McCain was just oh, he was a completely dif- different uh, quarterback that he was in his first two years. He was just he was tremendous, and as you saw, um, he got. He, got rewarded with a $27 million contract. So Bobby McCain's hard work and, um, you know, maturation as a player is paying off for him. And I hope to see the same thing for, for Kenyon, even though he was incredible in 2017. I think he's going to take another jump and just be oh, incredible for us in this offense. Um, and the sky's the limit for Kenyon Drake. Um, I'm excited to see these coming years for him playing out. Um, haven't been this excited about a Dolphins player in a very long time. But just the raw talent and ability jumps off the screen and just has to get you going as a fan. I mean, I haven't seen a running back like this in I don't know how long. I mean, the guy, he's a much more explosive back than Ronnie Brown. Um, you know, maybe since R- Ricky Williams, we haven't had a guy this good. Um, but yeah, Jay Jai, you know, had his moments during 2016, but he isn't the running back that Drake is. Drake is just the full package three down back that can, um, you know, help the offense and isn't a liability to the offense that maybe J.H.I. was at times. Um, Drake, Drake as the Dolphins starter, I think will have um, 1,000 yards plus easy on the ground and 500, and 500 yards um, in the passing game, catching the ball. Um, and, seeing, and seeing the ability that Callum Balaj has as a back during OTAs and, and minicamp, um, this tandem has the potential to just be one of the best in the league. Um, Balaj is a bigger back at 6'2", 230. It may even be a, an even more dynamic athlete than Drake. I mean, what you're hearing from this guy um, during, you know, OTAs and minicamp is just scary. Like, if they're saying that he's just a crazy athlete, like, makes running look effortless and just catches the ball with ease. Oh, I'm so excited to see what Balaj brings to this team. And, um, and he's going to bring a lot to, you know... The offense and special teams, I mean, he's just got a, a ton of ability. Very similar to uh, Kenyon. we just got to see how far along he is as a running back in terms of, you know, um, you know, his patience, um, taking the right lanes, the right running lanes, you know, reading defense, reading uh, offensive linemen. Yeah, only time will tell and the preseason, things like that will show um, just how far, how far along uh, Balazs is as a running back. And just the thought of Balaj being more athletic than Drake, it just truly is scary. It just makes you think about the endless possibilities that this offense will have um, with those to- with those two guys uh, behind the, the quarterback. It truly is, um, you know, scary to think of. And with, uh, you know, the solid veteran Frank Gore, who nearly had 1,000 yards last season, I expect our, our running game to just be oof, full steam ahead and just um, incredible. I've been, like, pining on this for so long. I think even, like, during the season, during the 2017 season, I really want us to have, like, two backs that can really do it all and just be two dynamic guys that, um, you know, just get it done no matter who was on the field, you know, similar to Devontae Freeman and Tevin Coleman or um, the Saints' new dynamic duo of Mark Ingram and Alvin Kamara. I really think that Balazs and Drake can be, like, the best tandem in the league and just... (laughs) I'm so pumped, like, and, and it's, it's exactly what Tannehill needs, because Tannehill, he isn't a guy that can carry the offense, he just, he just isn't, I don't care about what we're hearing from him, you know, during um, this offseason, that, oh, he's a, he's got, like, a new kind of, um, he's a new kind of leader, a leader, he's got a new kind of, like, a maturation, um, you know, how much better can he be, I don't, I don't really don't think he's a world beater of a quarterback, I mean, only time will tell, who knows, um, you know, with Tannehill, but, you know, with having two running backs and Gore that can, you know, help with the run game, it's just gonna. It's exactly what Tannehill needs. He isn't a guy that can carry the whole the whole offense like a Brady or a Roethlisberger. 
or a Drew Brees or a Philip Rivers. He needs support, and that's exactly what he's going to get this season. Alrighty, guys. Um, thanks for having a listen on this one. Uh, make sure to leave um, a like and a subscribe if you enjoy the content. And uh, also, make sure to comment um, if you agree with me or not. You know, Just give me all the feedback um, that you want, and feel free to yeah let me know your mind, speak your mind. Alrighty, guys. As always, fins up, baby. I'll see you guys in the next one.